Hello folks. Boy, am I happy. Finally, I'm making a video. It seems like it's been a while, huh? So the weather is really warm today, finally. We've been having this miserable, cold, rainy, snowy winter, and it's been awful. So anyways, I just want to go through a couple things that I've been facing over the last few months and a couple upgrades that I'm going to do. I'm Kurt Zepp, and you're watching Astro Quest 1. First off, I purchased this uh, Dew Shield, or Dew Shield, Dew Ring, the 8 inch Dew Ring for this sculpt. I'm going to put it on there. I'm not going to go through a step by step how tutorial on how to do it. There's a, I missed the boat. There's already 10 zillion videos on it, and including one from Celestron. And I don't want to keep redoing the same other videos that everyone always does. So I'll, I'll put it on fast mode when I'm doing this and so you can see me do it. But I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm, just go watch one of those other videos. They're really good. Next, I've been having this intermittent problem for the last couple months with regard to my EAF and the ASIR Pro. What's been happening is when I go out there, turn everything on, the EAF is not registered there. It's it's not seeing it. So it just says none on there and it, it, won't, it won't see it. So what I've done is I've unplugged and plugged in the USB cable and then it sees it sometimes. I, when I unplug it, I hear I can hear it make going that ding dong noise. Like it knows it was there and it's gone. But when I plug it back in, sometimes it'll register it, and, and other times it, it won't even do that. There's power. The power button on the EAF is still there, so I know it's getting power. So I just couldn't figure out the problem. So I'm having it hunt, and finally, I just said, geez, maybe it's the USB cable. So I yanked the cable off and put a new cable on there or a different cable. And it was working. And, and that was working fine. And then all of a sudden, st it started happening again. And Jesus, good grief. So then I started, well, then I read online and said, well, maybe I've got to reinstall the drivers. So I reinstalled the drivers. I redid the firmware. And that fixed it. And that started happening again. <laughs> so, so I'm just going crazy. However, the last four times that I've used it, it hasn't occurred. And what I've done is I've not turned anything else on. That is, I've had everything off. And the first thing I, that, that's on is the EAF. That's what I go to first. And then that seems to work. Then I'll turn the mount on. So I keep the mount off. I think that's the big thing, the mount. But as long as I leave that mount off and turn on the EAF before the mount, it seems to work. I mean, it never loses it during an evening of imaging. It's, it works fine all the way through. It's just, if it's not on in the beginning, it ain't registering it. So that's the issue that I've been having, and I think I solved it. If it starts happening again, I might just plug the mount in separately somewhere else and not go through the air uh, for the mount. And lastly, speaking about the ASI Air, I have the ASI Air Pro. And the new one has the better Wi-Fi thing. So I don't know how good that is. I'm actually going to get another one of these things because I'm going to have another uh, portable system. So I, I'll probably end up getting that one that has the, the better Wi-Fi. But if you had this old one or if you got the new one and the new one still doesn't work all that well, what I've done is I've got one of these things. And this is uh, this one works pretty good, this Rockspace one. Let me see if you can see that. I just have this thing plugged into my power strip down here and I'm getting a much better Wi-Fi control all over the place. Even though it's still outside with the scope, I, I still get it all over through my house. So I have it connected with this little ethernet cable. Now, another thing I could have done, what my friend uh, Elliot Severin came up with, he takes, he has a 20 foot, which is a, what is it, a 10 meter, eight meter, Ethernet cable that he has his actually plugged into his garage and he has his telescope mount out in his driveway so I could do that too so to increase your uh, your Wi-Fi signal and this works really well I was surprised uh, kudos to Elliot for giving me that uh, the idea to use this thing but it, it works really well now I did purchase the one that that ZWO recommended that um, that I forgot what the name of the Vonitz thing uh, that thing's <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that 
<laughs> and, and not only did it suck, I don't, I don't think it increased any Wi-Fi signal. Uh, not only that, it had like these lights on here. It was like the Saturday night disco party or something like that. So that couldn't have been good either. But um, this thing works much better. Okay, well, uh, that's all I have, uh, folks, for now. I am I will probably do some more videos pretty soon. I've been, in, been not doing a lot of videos because, not because I haven't been doing anything, it's just that I've been overwhelmed with stuff happening astronomically and just regular work-wise. I'm, I'm overloaded, folks. So, anyways, that's all I have for you for now, and we'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.